Hi there, my name is Roy Walker, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how to make adaptive vehicles in FMOD. Basically speaking, uh, having done quite a lot of adaptive engines, I felt there was a bit of a shortfall in terms of decent tutorials online that explain how to do this. If we have a look at FMOD's examples project, there are two basic um, car engine systems in here, um, which work quite well to demonstrate how FMOD might do it, but they don't really go on to explain how you might create these loops or files and how you might tune them to work together. The first thing to realize is if we want to make some car engine loops, we need little loops like this to represent different stages of the uh, engine's RPM. Uh, and this is not an easy thing to record. If we were to go out and find a decent car, we'd also need to find a quiet place to record it in. We'd probably need a number of high quality microphones. But most importantly, to get steady RPM values, you really need to record the car on rollers. Now, I don't have the facility to record cars like that, nor I assume do you. So we're going to rely on sample libraries. If I go to my sample library here, Sonus.com have, at least in the last two years, probably before that as well, released really decent uh, sample bundles uh, in line with the GDC. And if we have a look inside the 2016 one, Pole Position here are a great sampling company who seem to enjoy doing uh, cars. So if I just look here for steady RPM, we should be able to find a file that has all of the RPM range that we want. I'm going to concentrate today on this Iveco daily van, this sort of white van. This is how it sounds. So we've got a startup sound. We've got idle. We've got low revs. Medium revs. Higher. So a nice full range there. I'm going to open this up inside an audio editor. In my case, I'm going to use Isotope RX. You can use any audio editor you wish. Uh, the main advantage of using RX and the real reason that I like it is I can switch between waveform view and spectrogram where I can actually see the harmonic content. So I can see the fundamental frequency here and therefore I can see very easily that these uh, RPM recordings here are going up in pitch. So if we go to the very last one, that's a really ferocious high load engine. Whereas if we go down here, that's a really low rev engine. We also have idle and of course everywhere in between. So we want to extract from this usable uh, loops to put into FMOD. These loops need to be completely transparent. That is, it should be impossible for anyone to determine when and where it loops. So I find by far the easiest way to get going with this is to start with, let's say, either the very low or very high RPMs and then fill out the middle in between. So what I'm going to first look for is the lowest RPM we have, essentially an idle engine. And I'm just going to guess by the low fundamental here that this area is probably an idle engine. Let's go and have a listen. You can hear that it's very periodic. This should be very easy to loop. So I'm just going to take a section. I'm going to copy it, Command C, and I'm going to paste it into a brand new file, Command Shift N. All the shortcuts I'm listing are Mac, by the way. Let's see how this works. When it loops round, can you hear the loop? No, I can't hear anything there, so I'm immediately going to export this. I like to work in 24-bit, and I'm going to put this into a new folder. I'm going to call this my idle loop. So we can get rid of that, and let's go back. So what I want to do now is find the highest RPM that we wish to deal with. And you can see over here that this is definitely the area that we want to have a look at. So if I listen to this, so 
So what I'm immediately noticing here is that we have this sort of very heavy RPM high load uh, here, which is quite distinct in how it sounds from the other RPM loops that we have. Um, so if you notice, first of all, it's much higher in amplitude, it's brighter in color. Uh, there are much more obvious harmonics in the mid-frequency region. Uh, whereas these different RPMs here, they're all quite similar in their harmonic content. For this reason, what I may choose to do just for the sake of this demo and for simplicity is to actually take this section here as the highest RPM and kind of ignore this one because I think it's going to blend better with these others. Let me just have a listen. They all sound like they're coming from the same car, whereas if I was to blend between... That really sounds quite different. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to have a look inside this file for a nice loop. And what we can see here is the engine is ramping up until we get to about here. So if I was to loop that, then of course we would hear the engine drop back down to its original pitch. And so it would sound like no, no, and that we can't deal with at all. What I'm looking for is a nice area of flat but I don't have a perfectly flat RPM recording, which is often the case. So how can we get this to loop properly? I'm just going to see what happens if I do a loop like this. Uh, that's not bad to begin with. So I'm going to copy that, paste it into a new file again. I'm going to have a look at this in a bit more detail. So what I can determine here is, yes, I can hear that loop, even though I've managed to choose a place where the fundamental frequencies sort of line up and it gets a bit higher in the middle, uh, it is noticeable. The other thing is I can hear a click here, there, which I don't really like. So I'm going to see what happens if I just trim it down to this section. And you can hear how it jumps up in pitch. So a solution that I've come up with to deal with this a lot of the time is if we copy this file, uh, we reverse it, shift R, we go back to the beginning and paste it in. Then essentially what I've got here is a backwards version of the file, a forwards version of the file. And of course, when it loops, it's essentially going to go backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. And of course, what this means is that any ramp up or ramp down in RPM can be made to sound much more natural because it's ramping up and then ramping down slightly as if, for instance, the car was driving up a slightly steeper hill and then down the other side or something like that. We can see right here at the top the highest harmonics, the way they sort of join together now uh, in a way that it means that our ear shouldn't be able to discern it. So let's see if we can hear now um, where the loop goes back on itself. <laughs> and where it loops here. And I'm happy with that. So that's a great high RPM loop. I'm going to export that out in the same quality. Okay. The process is going to be much the same for the other loops. How many loops you want between your lowest and your highest RPMs is really up to you and the complexity of the game or engine, how far you wish to go. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to try and work with the minimum. Remember, we've got idle already, but idle is slightly distinct because that's when there's no throttle being used at all. I think the minimum we could get away with really it's probably about three RPM ranges from low, medium, and high. You might be able to get away with two, but let's see how we get on with three. 